Welcome, Devil Sniper here, and today I'm bringing you episode number 24 of our career mode with West Ham United. While you ponder the table and you see that we're currently languishing in 10th position, I can tell you, the boys have been working overtime in training. Some of the lads have been staying behind extra, doing extra, working on their defence, working on their passing, working on their shooting. They are absolutely motivated. We had a group sit down. And the truth was laid on the table. The performance against Stoke was a disgrace to the West Ham United faithful. A disgrace to the club. A disgrace to the honour of wearing the claret and blue. The boys are fired up. There's three episodes remaining for season one. Sacco has extended his stay at the Boland. All that remains is two games. The purple kit is adorned. The pride of London is about to take the pitch. The question is, are you ready? Ooh, here we go. Big game. This is a six-pointer for me personally, away to Manchester City. I really need to pick up a result after that. Beyond disappointment of a result against Stoke City, as you can see, Stoke 4th of the division. We're languishing in 10th. I want to create this team and craft this team into an absolute machine where we do develop and every season get better and better and of course highlighting Zerati there he has got a lot resting on his shoulders and I just want to try and get the best out of him I just don't know where that is or how that is at this moment but it is something we're working on and trying to develop I mean that team is that team looks powerful to me we've got a great bench as well with Berahino, Correa, Chiate, Morrison, Sacco, Shalaba all to come on and do a, a fantastic job and uh, yes I say you know a lot on Zerati's shoulder at this moment in time. I mean, he must feel like the weight of the world is on his shoulders. He really must. Well, here we go. Nice start. I did make the error of not changing the armband into uh, Noble. Kept it on with Tompkins at the moment. Oh, he's... Ma no, he's not. Oh, he's still going. Oh, he's still... Oh, my day, Zerati with a nice shot there. He just kept going, showing that he has got some strength and some fight inside him. He's got some great fight inside him. Great piece of play in the centre of the park there. Beautiful roulette. Songy in the centre of the park doing a great job. We've got an, over, an overlap. Chiaia Torre. Oh, he's put that high wide and that was uh, pretty poor. Great ball into DeMille. DeMille seen a lot of ball in this, in this first half. Into Noble. Noble, look at that. Always got time on his side great play from Noble Valencia dropping deep coming to pick that ball into Valencia nice little bit of skill back into Valencia the ball's on for Noble can Noble get there can he pull it back into Downing but the ball was just not good enough it's a shame because that would have been a nice potential move there one more touch oh that's if that that's just utter 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 rubbish Oh, my days. We all know Zabaleta is a good defender, but he ain't that good. Oh, my God. Tompkins got an important touch on that ball. Downing. Valencia. Valencia spies the run of Songy. No, he goes for the ball into Java. That's not the ball that I indicated I wanted to play. Look at the right. He's dropped deep. Come get that ball. Must be getting frustrated not having a lot of the ball. Where's Crezzers? Crezzers completely... Oh, well done, Crezzers. I've wondered where you went, lad. Oh, Java, open your legs up. Open your legs up. Zabaleta is out of position. Oh, what the hell? I cut back inside and he's lost the ball. How? Java just left the ball. Oh, they played that. To be fair, they played that nicely. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the shot. I tried to preempt the slide tackle. Yaya Torre again with an opportunity. Didn't do too well. He hasn't been playing that well, if you ask me. Zerati, who was coming back without the ball. I don't believe that. Fernando is slow as hell. Play. Look out wide. Right, right. Wide, right. Into Downing. Nice ball. Zerati, half time. Nil, nil. Not the greatest of halves, to be fair, but we have kept the scoreline at nil, nil. Um, that's the only plus point I can take at this moment in time, to be honest. You know, we did have a half chance with Zerati. We did, we did go for the shot too early. I think it's just the eagerness to get him on the score sheet. But I feel we can get him involved a bit more. He's got the pace and he's definitely got the skills to, to cause the City defence some issues. But 0-0 at half-time, I'll take that. <laughs> to Mill just literally <laughs> kicks Milner over. Oh, that is priceless. Absolutely priceless. Down and gone. Get down that right-hand side. Cutting inside. Oh, he's kept the ball. Oh, he's kept the ball. The run is on. The run is on. Have the shot. Oh, I couldn't get the shot out of his feet. 
Songy doesn't look too impressed. And, you know, he has played really well, to be fair. But I need that injection of pace in the centre of the park. Kiate, he's, he's a little bit quicker for me. And he's a little bit more physical. Some would say overzealous in the tackle with, uh, with, his, <laughs> with his disciplined record. But I love him. I absolutely love him. So, uh, And, of course, Ravel Morrison. If I can get some trickery out of him, I think we could score. Into Ravel. Ravel, oh, he's so sleek. He just plays so sleek. Down the line. Oh, you've got to score. Oh, my God. Zerati, how many... It's destined that he will not score a goal. I was half out of my chair. I thought that was going to be a goal. I thought that was going to... Oh, it's a beautiful ball. Keep the ball, no ball. Oh, Ravel. Chip it to the back post. Get there. Yes! Oh, Zerati! It's Zerati! It's Zerati! Come on, my son! Get in there! Get in there! Yes! Beautiful play. Poor chest control. Zerati pushes the defender out the way. Diving header. Absolutely beautiful. He pushed the defender out of the way. He pushes Kalishi out of the way. A diving header. Oh, my God. So much relief. Absolutely so much relief. Zerati has scored a beauty. That is a beauty. Ooh, 1-0 to the mighty West Ham. Come on, boys! Come on! Oh, nearly in on Kalishi there. Oh, Ravel Morrison. Oh, Kiate's kept it. Has he kept it? He's kept it. Play it into Noble. Noble. Serati. Look at that run. Look at that run. Get there. Get there. Oh, I could feel a dink over the keeper coming then. Get in there, Kiate. Go on, my son. Do Torre as well. Go on. Do ya ya. Do ya ya. Get in there. It's what we like to see. Absolute beauty. Serati, spread that ball. Oh, my days. Come on. Valencia. 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 Oh, he hasn't got the pace. He looks like he's dead. What happened, Valencia? He literally just had no oomph whatsoever. Absolutely no oomph. Demille! How was that a pass to bloody Downing? Oh, Kiate. Kiate. No, don't commit. Don't commit. Don't commit. Back post. Oh, they've hit the bar. Sorry, mate. Sorry. I know you are. You're a legend. And I really feel bad. You're knackered. I don't want you to get injured, man. I don't want you to get injured. He's just been held off. Demille, you've got to get that header. Great header. He has blown that whistle. 1-0 victory. Get in there. Zerati with an absolute peach of a goal. Pushing Kalishi out of the way. And gifting us that 1-0 victory. It was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I've got to say, who would I give man a match to? I've, Kiate came on and played astoundingly. I mean, he was an absolute animal. Absolute animal. But I've got to say... Purely because of his goal. And I think he played really well. It has to be Zerati. It has to be Zerati. He played so well in that game for me. He's played so well. And that was really quite an action-packed game. I felt that at certain points we were going to lose. Because we were overrun and dominated in the first half. But the second half, a different kettle of fish. We didn't capitulate. And we played really, really well. So the perfect result, a 1-0 win against Man City. We have a couple of job offers in the in the email. Bulgaria, no, not going to do it. From an injury point of view, Winston Reid will be back. He's not 100% fit, but he will be back, which is fantastic. And of course, it's time for the monthly squad report. I've got to say, sending our scout to England hasn't proven to be that that good. You know, he hasn't really bought us any amazing players, any absolute superstars. Well, Hayden looks pretty good to be Pretty fair. He does look pretty potentially good. Looks like he could be playing in that cam role. Hopefully he will grow though because he's only 4 foot 11. I know he's 15, but I would like to see him hit at least 6 foot. But I'm actually really surprised at how poor our scout has actually been in England. We've got so many good players in Brazil. Perhaps it's a case where we need to move him on to somewhere else. Let me know in the comment section below where you'd like me to move him on to. Perhaps Italy. Or perhaps uh, the Netherlands to find ourselves a Bonaparte or to find ourselves a, a, a Memphis Depay. That would be absolutely fantastic. I'm really pleased with the performance of the lads against Manchester City. They have been working hard in training. We had a nice day off. I gave the boys a day off and I've gotten back in a focus mind. Hopefully they'll put in an absolutely cracking performance against QPR. Just sit back and enjoy.
haven't made any changes to the team. I didn't see the point of making any changes. Why change a team that was winning? We've pushed ourselves into 10th, 45 points. A win today would be quite nice. Hopefully push ourselves up to 8th if, uh, if everything goes in our favour. But I think finishing in the top 5 now is a little bit out of our reach, even the top 6. So if we get to the 8th position at the end of the season, Young suck young. <laughs> As you know, this is the lineup. We've kept it the same. Adrian Demille, Collins, Tompkins, Creswell, Noble, Song, Zarati, Downing, Valencia, Javo. On the bench, Shalaba, Shaiko, Kiate, Morrison, Berahino, Correa, and of course, Jaska Leinen. Great play by Downing. Straight away with a little bit of flamboyance with the back heel. But we are knocking the ball around. Oh, look at Noble. Look at Noble. Look at Noble. Cut inside. Valencia didn't make the roll. Oh, hold on, it's come to Javo. It's come to Javo. Oh, Javo. Oh, oh, his case stayed. Oh, ref. Come on. Come on. Demille had to cut inside. Oh, it's alright, it's with Collins. Play it down that line a little bit. Yeah, since Demille. Zerati looking for that ball. Noble. Valencia. Noble. Look at the run by Javo. Oh, that's the ball. That's the ball. Got to be 1 0. Chavo's put it wise. You are absolutely having a bubble. Oh, QPR all over us. Oh, Adrian read that. Creswell got the wrong side of the defender. Tompkins didn't have the pace to get back in. Valencia's playing a beautiful ball back into Javo, who is offside. Oh, Tompkins, well done. Not the greatest pass in the world, but Javo got it. Zerati's there. Into Valencia. Oh, Enna. How did they get a block on that? Oh, my God. Perhaps we should uh, steer clear of doing that, to be fair. Noble. Beautiful ball. Valencia. Oh, that is a delightful ball. Into Javo. Surely third time. No, we've hit the post. You have to be kidding me. Seriously, come on. Oh, my days. That's the first half come to an end. Three massive opportunities and all three not taken. I did ponder making a change, but I decided not to in the end. I'm going to keep it the same for the start of the second half. But I have got a few substitutions in mind. Great challenge there from Krezers. Java on the run. It's into Zerati. Oh, he's kept it. Referee, that's got to be a penalty. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Noble. We need this. Come on, my son! What a beautiful penalty. 53 minutes gone, and we break the deadlock. After those three huge opportunities in the first half, it's taken us 53 minutes, but Mark Noble with the penalty. Oh, great save from Adrian. Keep the ball on. Yes, play it out of defence. Beautiful. Ah, oh, bad pass out, but I think we should have the free kick. Yeah, we've got the free kick. That's a great one too. Oh, we are bombing forward. Surely we have got to make this 2-0. Javo with the opportunity. Javo yet again with the miss. And Nick a second goal and just put the game to bed. That's what it's ultimately about for me. Javo going off. He had a couple of really decent opportunities. And he's got to work on his finishing. It's pretty much that simple. He's got to work on his finishing. The game is so stop-start. It's annoying. Oh, no ball! Oh, ho, ho, ho. Get in there, my son! What a beautiful goal! Absolutely beautiful! Get in there! 2-0! We've tied this game up, and the Cockney genius ties it up. Absolutely overjoyed for the lad. That's fantastic. Oh, great play, Berahino. Great pass inside. Cool, calm, collected. Mark Noble just slots the ball home. Great play there from the boys. By, oh, hold on. It's on. Oh, Collins. What a ball. Into Berahino. Can he score his first for the club? Can he score his first for the club? Oh, what a save from McCarthy. Come on. Final whistle. Final whistle. Final whistle. DeMille's been a tank. Into Sacco. Play that ball forward. One more. One more. We're overrunning them. Zerati. Oh, Zerati. Oh, Zerati. Zerati. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, the frustration. I'll take the 2 now, And it's a really tough one for Man of the Match for me. I really, really feel it's a tough one for Man of the Match. 
So many players have played well. Look at that. The West Ham faithful in buoyant voice. 2-0. Mark Noble with a double. The penalty, as you know, in the 53rd. And then obviously that beautiful second goal. It's what we love about our Cockney genius. And I think on that basis, it has to be Mark Noble, man of the match for me. An absolute Captain Marvel performance. An absolutely sensational performance on the big man. I used to dream about calling. 